In the tropics, we have the two spots, neither a named storm or an organized system, but this is the one that probably caught your eye more than this one. This one we've been tracking for many days, low chance of development, dry air, and you can see just kind of a big broad swirl here and moving northward into cooler waters over ocean, uh, over the ocean, so not a concern for land. This is the one, Invest 97, and I want to show you the computer models. They're in pretty good agreement, bringing it out across the ocean, maybe developing it this week, and then curving it possibly off to the north by early next week or even into this coming weekend and early next week. So the big question will be how close it is able to come, first of all, to some of these Caribbean islands as it moves to the north and then eventually possibly the east coast or Bermuda as we have this far out, just a big range of possibilities. But it does look like it will uh, possibly take that turn to the north around kind of a small extension of the big Bermuda high here. And this is our model showing it. There's also a big high over the Gulf Coast for next weekend, so that'll be guiding it to the north. And we may even see a trough of low pressure here swing out from the northeast U.S. and guide it off to the north and kind of curve it around possibly to the northeast. Take this one with a grain of salt. This is just one model run. I just wanted to give you a rough idea of what might happen. The Euro model curving it out there somewhere around Bermuda. But again, we'll watch this week and a lot of the east coast of the U.S. will have a lot of eyes on that as it uh, kind of take shape and we see how close it might come to the East Coast. Next name is Aaron and then Fernand and Gabrielle. And I wanted to point out there's also another wave coming behind this Invest 97 one. So very typical to see this happening as we head further into August and almost into September. But we continue, thankfully, with no tropical threat.